Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net, and this tutorial is about installing uh, Windows XP operating system virtually using Microsoft Virtual PC. Now, in the description box, there's a link to the, uh, download the program, which is completely free. Go ahead and open the software and click Next. Select choose a virtual machine click next and I'm gonna name my uh, virtual machine Windows XP which is the operating system th that I'm installing click next and by default it gave me the minimum memory and disk if I choose a different operating system, it'll automatically configure the minimum requirements for the operating system specified, as you can see here. I'm going to choose the uh, Windows XP that I'm installing and click on Next. Now I can leave the uh, default amount of RAM, which is 128 megs, or I can increase it by adjusting the RAM. But for this tutorial, I'm going to leave it as default, uh, 128 megs. I'm going to click next, and now I'm going to install a new virtual hard drive because I don't have any created. Click next, and now the um, just wanted to show you here that the virtual machine is going to be installed in your documents, my virtual machines folder. Go ahead and click next and finish. Now on the PC console click on new. Once you click on new click on CD even though you don't see it here but I did click on new. Uh, you can select the, from physical drive or an ISO image. I'm gonna go ahead and install it from a physical drive with which is my CD-ROM for tutorial purposes and if it doesn't start like you see here you can always go to actions and click on reset and it will start the boot process and this boot process is exactly the same way as if you were installing the uh, Windows XP for the first time in your computer setup is loading file after it, it loads the file this window will come up go ahead and click on enter now click on F8 to agree to the license agreement click on enter to install on the uh, virtual disk and now select NTFS file system quick and click enter It's going to be formatting now. And now we're going to copy the files to the virtual disk. Once it finish copying the files, it should restart and the GUI should come up. Go ahead and click on next on uh, language options. Type your name.
click on next product key and then click on next and uh, through other process uh, windows like this are going to keep on popping up just uh, uh, fill it up accordingly like you see here in this tutorial uh, computer name I'm going to name this avoid errors uh, virtual machine click on next set my time zone and since I'm using uh, Windows 7 my firewall came up so I'm just gonna click on allow access now use this typical settings click next and my default network is work group I'm just gonna click on next once it finished uh, installing, it should reboot. Click on OK to improve the appearance just like you, you have no other option and then click on OK again Now your operating system is fully installed like you see here. You should be able now to uh, I'm gonna set uh, not to protect my PC right now. I'm gonna skip this. I'm not gonna register at this time. Click next and uh, your username and password. I'm sorry your username. and click next click finish and that's it it's installed now I can uh, you know install my uh, desktop icons go into the internet do whatever it is that I need to do or install the software that are not compatible with Windows 7 my name is Miguel. Thank you for watching the video. Please visit my site, avoiderrors.net. You're more than welcome to email me if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.